serious people who were born from rape, what's your story? My mom was raped violently by my father in 1999. I was born in February 2000. I think about what my mom must have went through and it hurts me that another human could do that. To the person he loved. I moved out of her house at 16 because she physically and emotionally abused me daily and moved in with my gram shortly after. With a slight spell of homelessness between moving, she uses drugs and alcohol to cope. And now we're locked down. I don't have the option of talking to her. I still love her, because she's my mom. But I don't think there's a future for me and her. As for my father, I hope someone kills that cunt. My grandmother's mother was institutionalized for most of her life. She became pregnant with my grandma after an orderly raped her. My grandma was sent to live with her aunt who never liked her because of the shame her birth brought to the family. My grandma was an amazing person and I wish her childhood had been better. My father raped my mother. She had me and my sister when she was 16. She told me once when she was high and having a breakdown. Her parents forced her to marry him. Because of Catholic BS. I think she was a good person at one point. But being married to him would break anyone. She was never a good mother. That's tragic. I feel sorry for you and your sister. But especially your mo monsieur shit like that is why I distance myself from the Catholic side of my family. I dated a girl that had a rape baby because she didn't believe in abortion. She gave the kid up for adoption when she was born. She keeps in contact with the parents and they keep her updated on her biological daughter send her pictures, etc. She wanted nothing to do with the kid because of the brutal nature of the rape. But I guess she still wanted to see her grow up. It was kind of sweet. Also, that little girl is gonna grow up to be gorgeous. I could tell from the pictures she had. The girl I was dating was very pretty too. But it's amazing something so beautiful can come from something so horrific. That always stuck with me. Yeah I always think that seeing your rape baby wouldn't that be the worst scar of your life. I think that's why she didn't hold her after she was born or anything. She didn't want to get attached at all. On a motherly level. She also wanted to know she was okay. Hard to explain. But I always had a lot of respect for her for having a baby and giving her up for adoption. I guess she could handle seeing pictures now and then. That was about 15 years ago. I'd be lying if I said she wasn't absolutely batshit crazy. My mom doesn't know I know. My grandfather told me. So, basically my mom was drugged and raped by my father. He married my aunt, mom's cousin, and had my half-brother and sister. I don't hate him. Just don't care for him as he doesn't care for me. Your aunt married your mom's rapist. Holy hell that's messed up. I DK if they were married before, my brother is only 8 months younger than me so. My best friend was born from rape. He was fairly open about it into adulthood. Though was understandably upset if anyone called him a bastard. Even without malicious intent. Don't let him watch the Philip DeFranco show. Pure speculation at this point but from tidbits I've learned in the past two decades. Evidence points to the fact I was conceived when my mom was in a very abusive relationship. If it was coerced, forced, I don't care to ask because my mom visibly gets upset whenever I ask. After three attempts, I decided to not trigger her more than necessary. All I know is that my sperm donor is named Ben. Plus last name, lived on the same street as my mother when she got her first apartment. And when I was conceived. He was violent enough to warrant a restraining order. Likely was involved with drugs. And I look nothing like him. Amen. My stepfather got with my mother when she was three mo pregnant with me. My sperm donor knew she carried a term and attempted to burst through the door but my stepdad thwarted him off. For good. Never heard from or about him ever again. Edit. It's very unlike my mom to shut down on spot so for her reaction to freeze up and go silent is a good indicator whatever transpired was very traumatic. For both our health, I don't want to tread on it. 
throw it away cause I don't want my friends to find out I'm a rape baby. I found out when I was 15. My mom was drunk and got mad at me for something and screamed at me that I was a rape baby and my children would be rape babies too. Lovely thing to hear from your own mother. So yeah, my mom resents me. She still provided for me when I was a kid. But from about 13 plus I've been pretty much on my own and you can just tell that there's no love between us. Like when we argue, it's in reverse. I'm the one who's trying to keep calm and she's the one digging deep and trying to hurt me. I'm fine with her not loving me. Honestly, I know this might be a harsh position to have on this. But it's not my fault the circumstances I was conceived in. I'm not the one who raped her. And she could have had an abortion if she wanted. Or given me up for an adoption. Luckily, she's now out of my life and I don't really plan on letting her back in. I understand that rape can completely destroy someone with trauma, and it's something that some victims never fully cope with, or only manage to start coping with years after the assault. But I still have zero sympathy for people who take that out on rape babies. It's not our fucking fault. I wasn't born of rape but I'm pregnant from rape. I'm pregnant with twins. What happened is I was in class one day and one of the football players, who I'll call Ryan, asked if I wanted to skip next period and fuck. I said no and I'm only 16 and just no. He said, come on. My name. I'm 16 too. It'll be the best sex you've had. I still said no. He rolled his eyes and called me a slut and walked away. The next period I was too scared to go into class with him so I stayed in the hallway. He was also in the hallway but on the other end. I turned and sped walked but he's a football player and fast and way bigger than me. So he caught up with me and shoved against the wall. He was kissing me and his hands went down my pants. Then I was pushed into the boys bathroom. The single stall one with a lock on the door that only teachers and parents are supposed to use. I was crying and begging to stop and if you left me alone I wouldn't say anything. He said, you won't say anything anyways ho, I just stared at him undress himself with teary eyes. Shocked that the funniest guy in school, the best QB one, the best math guy, was doing this. You should know what happened then. He left and went back to class as normal. I didn't I stayed in there crying and one of my favorite teachers, Ms. Jackson walked in and asked me what I was doing and why I was crying. I didn't tell her. I just said I was going through something and needed some time alone. She asked me why were my pants down and why was I on the floor. Still told her the same story. I eventually worked up enough to tell the VP what happened and went to the campus police officer. Mr. Ortiz. Ryan was expelled and the whole school. Half of the whole school hated me thought I was lying and what not. Called me all types of harsh names. I'm seven months pregnant with twin girls. One's name is Heaven and the other Nevea. I want to give them the best life dipite what happened and I just hope Ryan gets his mind right and doesn't do this to anybody ever again. I hope he feels sick with himself and I hope he learns from his dumbness. I'm sorry this happened to you. Glad to hear Ryan got expelled. Proud of you for telling someone. It's a difficult thing to do. Glad to hear he's expelled, hope to hear he was arrested. I may be the byproduct, but ultimately it's not my story to tell. I have no complaints and harbor no resentment. I have separated myself from the horror and forged my own path with the strength of my mother. Every day I get to prove to my mother and myself that I am not a mistake or a tragedy. I am my own person and in a way it all drives me. As unfortunate and tragic it is. Life is good. My biological sperm bag raped my mom nine months before I was born. I only know from overhearing my mom having a breakdown about it to my stepdad when I was nine. That was ten years ago. And matching up the date to being nine months before my due date. I'm the youngest of four kids and I don't have a very good relationship with my mom due to her now having CPTSD due to years of abuse. 
I sometimes feel like I'm a reminder to her of the trauma. I become the forgotten kid pretty much and spent most of my childhood trying to get my mom's approval and support, like getting high grades and doing loads of extracurricular stuff. It's difficult at times for me as well, knowing that I'm related to an abusive, horrible man. I was terrified of men for quite a few years and still struggle in my relationships with others, because I always think the worst and have severe trust issues. I'm scared of either being with someone like the biological sperm bag or of becoming like High Monsieur. I've been an advocate for charities that support survivors of abuse as a result from an insane amount of guilt over the actions of the sperm bag. I worked with a lot of kids that lived in my county, supporting them in coping with what they've been through. I'm also at uni and received an award for my charity work. Even though, I was conceived because of rape and experienced years of abuse alongside my family. I'm now constantly trying to give myself a better life. I've got a whole lot of baggage and it'll take time to work through but I'm capable of having a happy, fulfilled life. Everyone else commenting with similar stories. I believe that you are strong people and are deserving of so much. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.